uh, in the state of Montana, um, they refer to transformational learning as a flexible pupil-centered learning environment. If we can not only make space, but be really intentional, people get the most out of it. People are empowered, both um, staff and students. And so in Kalispell, where we started our journey was really celebrating what was right. We had this opportunity in Kalispell to apply for a massive grant, a transformational learning grant. Uh, we did, uh, we were accepted um, as one of the districts in Montana. It'll span five years. And right away we thought we need to partner with experts in the field and um, we reached out to KnowledgeWorks and I don't know that we would have been able to do this work without this grant opportunity and it's actually we're using these dollars to invest in our teachers and professional learning of our teachers. Everything that we're doing is tied to our strategic plan. Uh, I would say mostly to goals two and three. So then the other thing we were really intentional about was creating pathways for people um, and our first stab at this was like it's like a highway. Like some of you are gonna onboard because you're super pumped about high impact instructional strategies. And some are you some of you are gonna onboard into project-based experiences. And like some people love it wide open and love the create creativity. And other people are like, no, I need a linear step-by-step. -step. So we're like, okay, let's create PCB bootcamp. This is this place to onboard staff it was totally voluntary so people were not required to attend they had voice and choice and when they wanted to attend sessions we've offered six sessions so far and we had 200 staff volunteer to attend and one of the purposes of boot camp was is if you attend this two-hour session um, it's going to ground us in a common pcb language but also it's a prerequisite to travel and launch and go and there. so the feedback from boot camp was awesome they felt like so many people are like, oh my gosh, this makes sense now. It helps connect the dots. I feel more clear. Um, and in the boot camp, we gave people path pathways because some teachers were saying like, I do 80% of this in my classroom already. And others were like, all my desks are in a row and I do none of this. And so what we said to people in boot camp was like, some of you are just beginning and are going to love all of this and others, you'll be able to take a deeper dive with the work. In boot camp, we focused on four, the big four, which was culture, profile of a learner, high impact instructional strategies, and our act it really integrating academic and those whole child or social emotional skills. And we spent the whole year on that. Um, our culture really focused on um, collective efficacy and agency. Those were the two heavy hitters that we talked about and focused on. Um, profile of a graduate, each school created their own. This year's work will be merging into a district profile of a learner, profile of a graduate. And then we really clearly tried to define the personalized side and the competency-based side. And you can see in these, the red, we really tried to tie it to the four, four essential questions because we're a PLC school district and we wanted people to see how this tied into their current work. Um, launch teams went out. We had three different launch teams with almost 60 staff who traveled. This was, I would say, one of the best components of tiered professional learning in the district. To attend boot camp and then travel, people were like, oh my gosh, I'm, con I'm making these connections. This is making sense. For people who didn't travel or want to go to boot camp, we gave them um, an opportunity to do a PCB scavenger hunt through internal site visits. Uh, and they came back and just said, this class was eye-opening, seeing it so much more effective. I was surprised to hear an early case student say things like, we are growing our brains, we are building neural pathways. So now, long story short, uh, we do some really small intentional things all the time. We, own, we have owned areas where we could have done better. I think that was huge, just owning it. Like, hey, that wasn't super clear, we can do better. And then we offered multiple pathways or tiers for people to onboard into the work uh, without it being top down, but incentivizing enough that people want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm.